Welcome cuties, let's create! Today I'm going to show you how to make some fridge magnets. Um, so what you'll need are these round clear type stones. I don't really know what they're called. You can get them in Walmart in the floral section. You're also going to need magnets, some paper, I'm using watercolors, a pencil, Mod Podge, and I have these fancy watercolor brushes. They have water in the part in them and it drips water, but you do not have to have those. You technically don't even need to have watercolors. You can use whatever medium you would like. You can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, paints, whatever you would like. But the first step is you are going to outline the stones just so you have an idea of whatever you're going to be drawing, whatever your picture will be, has to be in that circle. So that way it's not drawing something too big. I used watercolors today just because I really like watercolors. I used it on regular thin printer paper and as you will tell in a second, I ripped it trying to move the paper, just a little corner and that's why there's two sunset looking ones <laughs> because I ruined the one of them. But I'm just doing simple designs, just coloring them in. Your next step is to cut out all the circles. And I also apologize for the weird lighting at the beginning of the video I was filming at night and then the next I was filming during the day and again the sun was going in and out behind the thing and I'm not too sure of how to fix the lighting. I'm still working on my editing <laughs> but um, yeah you just go ahead and cut out all the circles. Once I was done cutting out all the circles, I went through and I added some embellishments on ones that I wanted. Like I know I wanted the one to look kind of like a watermelon. And I just kind of picked out my favorite ones. Here I tried to do the chalkboard one, which did not turn out well. I have done a chalkboard looking one before and I used gel pens, but this time I wanted to try a paint pen and I suggest doing a gel pen because as you can tell it just does not look right <laughs> it did not turn out at all how I wanted it to but that's okay I had more that I really liked Your next step is going to be getting Mod Podge. The first thing you want to do is it's kind of like a glue. So you paint a thin layer of glue on the flat side of the stones and press on your pictures towards the outside. So you are looking at white. And you, I just do that throughout all my stones. I just paint the thin layer of Mod Podge and I just press them on to make sure that they are glued on. Mod Podge works as a water base sealer, glue, and finish. So the first step is putting that on the rocks or stones, whatever you would like to call them.
as you can tell, it did not look the way I wanted it to. But the other ones I really liked. So what I do first is I cut off all the extra paper because as you can tell, it kind of goes over the edges. So I go through and I just kind of trim and cut off all the excess paper. Then I go through and I seal it with some layers of Mod Podge, sealing that paper onto the stones or rocks or however you would like it. What I'm doing here is I am pushing out all the air bubbles that you can see that are in the middle. So I'm just making sure that they are flat and you can tell that they kind of bubble out. And so I'm just pushing them on the table to make sure that um, that they don't have any air bubbles in the in the middle of the design. The One of the final steps that you will do is to hot glue your magnets onto the back of your stones and your paper and once that's done you will be able to put them on your fridge once they are all dry hopefully you noticed how beautiful my desk looks i cleaned and scraped and um, was able to get all the paint off i do have a couple of staining of the colors but i feel pretty proud that it now looks beautiful and clean <laughs> These are the final design. I really liked how these turned out. Um, 
they're kind of messy, but I kind of like that they're kind of messy. Um, and here they are on my lovely plain fridge. I really enjoyed doing this. It's an easy craft. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.